So this is probably the final vlog we record in this studio. Kind of sad really, but it's always great to have a bit of a change. <clears throat> Business is going in a slightly different direction. It'll still be pretty cool though. I figured that seems that it's the final one. I would break the... Wondering what it looks like upstairs. This is what it looks like upstairs. It's normally not this clean though. Yeah. It's the only reason they're allowed to see. Yeah, it is pretty much the only reason. <clears throat> Alright, so today I've actually been deloading this whole week. Are you in it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, I've actually been deloading this whole week. So we, like, I've left my legs completely alone because I start a program on Monday that is literally deadlifting every week. So my joints are starting to feel a little bit cranky and shit. So <clears throat> we've just been doing some conditioning and some upper body work. Today we're going to focus on a lot of vertical presses and just kind of muck around. But I figured it would be kind of cool to do something different, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to see something? Say something just because you're <laughs> in the frame? No. You're on the spot now. <laughs> Let's do it. Don't put me on the spot. All right, let's go down to the gym. So we're starting off with what is called a Z press. It's an exercise you hardly ever see anybody do. It's a seated overhead press in the rack. Please note Sophie. Oh, I get you there. Right, with your legs forwards and the bar on the pins. So basically what this forces you to do is really engage your abs on each one. So boom, boom because there you release all tension off the shoulders. So here we go, all the way down to the pins and back up. It's much harder than an overhead press, but honestly the core integration, if your core is weak, what's gonna happen is you're just gonna fall backwards. So I've been tinkering with these a little bit and I just kinda wanna up my strength in them and just see what the carryover to my actual overhead press is like, so. Let's move some weight. So this is Sir Sophie's first working set. We're gonna do five by five. Do not underestimate how hard this is. I put a few clients through it, and as soon as I give it a go, they're like, oh God, it's way harder. You see how her core keeps shifting backwards and forwards? That's because it's all abs, baby. You got this. Boom, strong as shit. Good. Almost there. It's hard. The fat grips just kind of add a little bit more because it's originally a strong hang <laughs> exercise. So they'll do this with an axle bar. How many you get? Four. Alright, you got one more. Just bring it in. Bring it in. You can't do it with these I'm going to walk, walk you through it. Alright, deep breath. Tuck those elbows. Come on, push, push, push. You got this, girl. Come on. Boom! Oh, Woo! Five, six of those is gonna be hard. That was a beautiful face. <laughs> you need it there. <laughs> okay, so I'm pressing 60, which overhead for me is, it's nothing. Like, I can do like three, four sets of 10 and 60. Um, you'll see with this, I struggle with 60 for 5, and I really have to take a deep breath in, brace my core, and explode through the lift. The carryover this has for a push press is really good because you have to engage so much of the core synchronizing with the press in order to get it, so... <sighs> this is not fun. This is my first set, so let's see how this goes. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> Your groin muscles. <sighs> you got this, girl. As you can see, I've lowered my ledge. Hmm? As you can see, I've lowered my ledge. <laughs> no, you would have gotten away with it. <laughs> Good. Perfect. That was, a, that was a good set. Yeah. Hey, so. Remember when Nick used to train with us? I don't remember when Nick used to train with us. Yeah. I don't think that ever happened. I'm fairly sure it didn't, hey? When was the last time we saw him? I can't even remember. Have you met Nick before? No. I think. I I've think, heard bad, terrible stories about Nick. I think Sophie came into my life post Nick. I am Nick. I think I am Nick. Maybe you are Nick. That would make more sense. I'm doing it. You're being consistent, right? That's true. Consistent. Every time, Nick. Every time. <laughs> Fuck. At least Neil's got an excuse. <laughs> He's quiet. He doesn't get hold of me if you use that. You get hold of me and say, what are you up to today? And I go, nothing. Are we training? And you go, on my way, babes. Oh shit, <laughs> that wasn't for you. And then you never answer me about the training. And then later you're like, nah, I'm not. <laughs> Fuck you, man. That was brutal, but it's all done now. Um, Sophie doesn't even know what we're doing next, no. so I'm about to let her know. Oh, no. um, we're going to do some power shrugs with the barbell, with the snatch grip. Heavy as fuck. No! So it's all on that upper back development, baby! These are going to look messy because they are messy. Anything with the word snatch, I hate. It's just a snatch grip. She hates the word snatch and moist and moist no. snatch. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go for like 140. I'm gonna go really balls to the wall. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do four sets of eight. It's not too much. It's gonna be a bit of cheating because what we're really trying to do is get the stretch through the traps. So that's like catching the bar on the way down. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Lago. I've just kind of made up the number. <laughs> How much is that one way? 142.5. Because I was too lazy to take off the 1.25. <laughs> Ooh, it might make all the difference. Right. I don't even think I've held anything in a snatch grip. Kind of this way. Strapping in because I'm a bitch. There. Felt it in my tricep on the side, but it was good. Is that what counts? Yeah, you can count it if you want. <laughs> that script, good. Good. Try not to bend your elbows. Good girl. So we're keeping it super short today. 
two weeks as well. <laughs> we could have lied, we could have just said we didn't film everything. But just, yeah, a couple of um, power moves. Like I said, deloading week, there's no need just going balls to the wall because that's what we're gonna do next week. And then next weekend, we're actually moving this gym. So I'll try to squeeze one more vlog out in this gym, but maybe. Maybe the move. Yeah, maybe the move can Taking be all the stuff. a vlog. Yeah, let's do that. It actually sounds quite cool. Yeah. It's gonna be sad, so say goodbye to my pretty. Three years, done and dusted. Till next time. <laughs>